Hello Mitananda, I am Gesh86 and this is Puzzle Quest. Oh wait, Quest for Camelot? But it might just as well be called Puzzle Quest, even if uh, <laughs> the game that is already called Puzzle Quest is still a bit different from this. First block we want to get rid of is this one. Now we should take this one to the right. The only thing you can really do wrong in this one is push the first block up and not to the right. So since I'm gonna be pushing just pushing blocks for the next minute, I can announce a little bit of things. The next game I'm going to play after this is Katsugeki Kidan, Volume 2, one of the doujin games that I got. It's an action platformer RPG hybrid. It's gonna be pretty fun, I think. Even though um doesn't have any translations out, there's not too much text in it and it didn't bother me. Hmm. Let's get this one next. <laughs> Something else that I think is worth mentioning. I'm gonna be getting Fallout New Vegas tomorrow. That's when it's gonna be out for Europeans. People from North America already had it since the 19th. I'm currently recording this on the 21st if you can't do the math. I was a huge fan of Fallout 3. I've played it for hours to no end. I hope that New Vegas feels new and fresh enough. I think that's a doubt that anyone would have for this game. I also hope that it's not going to be too bugged. I've seen some funny videos about bugs already when it's still so new. Mm, that's pretty much it for news. We're gonna... we're really close to finishing up this puzzle here. Get this one in here and all the way down to the start and get the last one. So if there are a bit slower updates, it's just because I'm playing Fallout New Vegas. But videos will keep coming. And done. Now as always, the exit should be to the right. Hmm, there's still another one. Hmm, that already was, was wrong. This one, I don't remember that well. Uh, clearly we must push down this one. And now for that, except for that one little trap, I think the rest should be pretty self-explanatory. 
you know these kinds of riddles would have been a bit more convenient if you had a bit better way of knowing how the area looked before you would start pushing blocks that's because this kind of puzzle game usually has really uh, really tiny sprites and tiny blocks but that's not so for this game can't change that let's get this one this one is safe to get actually I think all of them are safe to push right now down here just because we can you there now when that one is out of the way we can pu also push down the one above it the one that trapped us last try let's get this one first yeah it's pretty much solved now oh this one yes I think when I was um, 12 or 13 and I did this for the first time it took me more than three times as much like one and a half hours to do this whole series and the optional ones where is the exit? up here of course That was it for the mandatory ones. What's this? It's a snorkel, of course. Our prize for all our hardships. Now oh, there's Merlin again. Nothing else to do than talk to him. We really want that object. We're not in a hurry. We're gonna do them. Yes, please. The first two of these aren't too bad, I think. Let's push this one to the side first. This one. And this one. Oh wait, don't push that too far. Push this first. I don't quite get what the purpose of this particular puzzle is. It's not really much harder than the last one. But the other two that are to come, they're gonna be a bit more, they're gonna be something else, especially the final one. We'll push that one to the right. There. That prize that we're gonna get for this, it better be worth it. Of course, of course I already know what it is. It is worth it, don't worry. Gonna get have to get that away from the wall first. On to the next one. Now this puzzle really doesn't look like much, but you know, 
when you set up all four of them, where would you be? You'd be somewhere around one of these little niches. Guess what? The exit is only in one of them. If you're on the wrong one, you'll be trapped and have to restart. First thing to do is get that one away from the middle and that one as well. Now you start up here and work counterclockwise. This one up and this one and we're on the side with the exit. Now we're at the king of the puzzles. That's what you could call this one. Can't really see how big this area really is, but it's something. Hmm. First push this one up. I have some notes for this one prepared. Push this one to the side and this one. Put it right in the middle here. Hmm. We may not push this one. The, it's going to get trapped if we do. Push this one upwards. Claim our prize first. It's a hard container. It's what you would have guessed to find in the optional puzzles, wouldn't you? Push this one just here. That may not be its final position. Get this one away a bit. And this one too. Put it back here. Now this one. It must... We have to get this one up. But I think just one. Oh, we have to get that back to the other side. Or do we? Yep, we have to make the way again. Clear the road. No, we have to push the other one even further up. This is what we have to do. Yeah, I think we have it almost in the bag. We, I think we should leave that open for now. Close up this one first. This one as well. Luckily we left the way open there. And now we should be able to bring these ones down. Almost have it. But we're almost out of time. Too bad, we were almost done with it. So we'll leave that for next time. I'm Gesh86, this was Quest for Camelot, and next time we're gonna have some more combat once again. Bis bald!